Hey friends, it's Eric and today we're going to check out the Luchon Caseta Diva Switch and the brand new redesigned Pico Remote. I'm going to show you how to do a three-way wired slash wireless setup where you have the Diva Switch on uh, one side of your wired setup and then a Pico Remote on the other side of your wired setup, even though it's a wireless Pico Remote. Um, normally, I wouldn't be using this particular Pico Remote because it's only on and off. I would be using a dimmer Pico Remote, um, but because I want to feature or highlight this brand new one, it's in this video, even though I'm going to be switching it out for a dimming Pico remote in the very near future, but the process is exactly the same. Now, I do want to let you know they did send this out to me for full honest review and a bunch of other stuff over the years, but I've bought my fair share of Lutron because I believe in the Lutron Caseta lineup. They're one of my favorite, actually, they are my favorite smart switch um, ever. Uh, they have been awesome. They're super reliable and they never have failed me. And that's the only smart switches that I will install into my father-in-law's house because they just have to work. Now, quick note on this new Pico remote. It's pretty much exactly the same except for it's a redesign. It's only on and off, has no dimming capabilities at all. However, if you sync this or pair this with a Lutron Caseta d switch which I will be doing in this video you can see if you press up once it's going to go to the brightness that you have set on the Diva's slider and then if you press it up again it's going to go to full power and then obviously when you press down it's going to turn off otherwise it has no dimming capabilities but if you do pair it like I said with the Diva, it will have that extra step available for you. And just like all Pico remotes, it has a 10 year battery life, which is amazing. Now with that out of the way, let's jump into this three way setup. Now make sure if you don't understand what I'm saying or you don't understand the diagrams that they, Lutron has online, please, please, please hire a professional. Electricity is not something to mess with and you wanna make sure you understand all the concepts, you know what each wire is, you do not wanna guess here. Now, make sure you're also safe, turn off the power. Um, I'm gonna be suggesting a couple ways to find out what wire is what wire, um, but you can install the Luchon Caseta Diva switch at either location, so this is gonna be a three-way, so you're gonna have two switches. Now, like I said, you normally would not use this type of Pico remote here because the Diva can work with a dumb switch on the other side. So that would give you on and off control just like this would. So there's really no benefit of adding this Pico remote except for you get the extra step with the slider. You really want to add a Pico remote with dimming capabilities. So to do this, go ahead and turn off the power to both switches. You do want to make sure that both switches are dead. Uh, make sure you get an electrical gauge to make sure the wires are actually off and then disconnect it from the switch on both ends. Now leave those wires hanging out, make sure they're not close to each other. Um, and then what I suggest, um, make sure there's no kids around, no one's around, no pets or anything that could touch these wires. Go back down, turn the power back on. And then when you come up, you'll be able to test to find the line wire. Now the line wire is the hot wire. You're gonna to have to follow the diagrams that are available online. I'll leave a link down below. But that one wire that's beeping when you test it, that is your hot wire or your line wire. Now go back downstairs, turn off the power, come back up, and now you wanna take that line wire and tie it to the other two wires. Um, it could be a red and black or uh, red and white. Just make sure it's not the neutrals. Neutrals will be in the back of the box, all tied together, all white wires in the back. But if this is a normal three, you will have two traveler wires and go ahead and connect those all three together into a wire nut. Go back downstairs, turn the power back on, come back up, go onto the other location, location number two, and test again. There, you will find two wires now that will have power. Those are your traveler wires. That third wire that does not beep at all, that is your load wire. That is the wire that is going to your light. Now that you've identified it, 
go ahead, go back downstairs, turn off the power and come back up. Now I'm going to be following the diagram that I've linked down below where now I can install the Pico remote at location number one, where it tied all three wires together. And now the diva switch can go at location number two. I'm going to connect the black wire from the diva to both traveler wires. You want to make sure those are the travelers. Those are the ones that had power. And then the blue wire is going to get capped and the ground wires are going to come together. That's going to be your bare wires. And then your red wire will go to the one that did not have power. That is your load wire. Connect all those, put everything back in nice and neat, put on your covers, go back downstairs, turn on the power and come back up and you should be good to go. Go ahead, test out the Diva switch, and if it's working okay on the Diva switch, hook it up to the Lutron app. Uh, make sure you have the Lutron Caseta bridge, that way you can bring it into your smart homes, and then set up your Pico remote through the Lutron app, and you should be good to go. This was super easy to do, it took me about 15 to 20 minutes once you figure out what wire is what. Uh, yes, I had to go up and down the steps a lot, <laughs> yeah, at least in my house, that's what I had to do. Now, one little minor con that I do have here is when you're using the new Pico remote with the Diva switch, it didn't always, when you press it once, it didn't always go to that preset where the slider was. 90% of the time it did, but for some reasons, uh, it just didn't quite, it went to full power. I'm not quite sure why I'm having that issue. Hopefully they will solve it uh, soon, but either way, it's not a huge issue. That light always turned on. It just didn't go to what I thought it would go to. But I love this new Diva switch. Um, I love how it, it how it incorporates the same design in the entire Lutron Caseta lineup, and I highly recommend it. Hope this video was helpful. See you guys on next one. Thanks for watching.